Performance's native iso whey iridium protein. Uh, I've got the chocolate cake flavor. So real quick, let's hit the big three. Price, taste, quantity. Um, let's go ahead and hit price. So as far as price goes, this is going to be one of my more expensive videos because I'm wearing my Jim Sark, Jim Shark shirt. So shout out to them, they're badass. Uh, and then also this protein is not something you can afford on a minimum wage budget. Uh, I think full price for a tub of this, you're looking at something like close to 70 bucks. I think it's like 67, 70, somewhere in there. So uh, I was lucky enough to find it half off at GNC for like 33 bucks. I won't focus. That's okay. But um, so price, it's a, little, it's a little touchy. If you can find it on sale, maybe performance is having a sale or you can find it at GNC or something half off like I did then uh, hopefully you can go that route. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit the quality aspect. So the whole point of native proteins, if I'm not mistaken, it's proteins that have never been exposed to extreme heat or cold. So if you know anything about like biology, extreme heat denatures proteins. So what that means is basically it changes the shape of the protein molecule to a shape that your body can't even use. So basically you just end up pooping it out or something like that. Now, when you never expose something to extreme heat, extreme cold, that kind of thing, the proteins never get denatured. So if you're getting 25 grams of protein a scoop, you're actually going to absorb 25 grams of protein a scoop. It's not like 10 grams and you poop the rest out or something. That's the whole idea behind uh, native protein. So as far as I understand, it's a very expensive process to make this something uh, safe to ingest without going through those uh, you know, extreme heats to kill off bacteria or whatnot or extreme cold you know, as part of like the preservative process. So that's why it's more on the expensive side. Also, if you don't know real quick, Performance uses this terabead technology is what they call it. So it's like a multi-time release type of thing. And uh, so in here, you'll notice that there's really small green beadlets. And if I'm not mistaken, that's leucine. Leucine is one of the BCAAs. So you definitely want to make sure to get as many of those green things uh, out of your shaker cup as you can while you're drinking it or whatnot. And then taste-wise, uh, really, really good. This is one of the best chocolate proteins I've ever had. Um, it's a chocolate cake flavor. Right now, I've been making like smoothies with it and whatnot. And I mean, I'm really impressed with the flavor. As far as like on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to rank the taste on like a 9.5. Just because there's always room for improvement, but I really don't know how you can make it better. Uh, price, I'm going to rate this like a three personally, unless you find it on sale and then I'll rate it like, you know, eight and then, uh, quality, I'll also give it like a nine and a half because, uh, I really like the idea of having a native protein that's not denatured from heat and stuff like that. So that's it guys. If you've had some of the other flavors, I've heard nothing but good things about the taste. So if you've had some of the other flavors that you've tried this, leave your experience in the comment box below.